Isn't it Jaska's tribe? She said she was gonna take Koichi home to rest for a while. But how, right? Everyone's struggling just to defend themselves. There is no spare manpower. At this rate, it won't be long before even the stadium is indefensible. And with everyone congregating at the stadium, the Abyss forces will start converging there, too. Then there'll be a battle on a scale much larger than anything we've seen so far. On the bright side, at least my old injuries aren't playing up at the moment. It means I can actually join in with the fighting. The crux of the issue is that the heart of the Abyss itself has joined the invasion. That's a power we just can't match. I have every faith in the courage of our people. The Natlanese will never give in to despair. But still, the fact is, our lives are more fragile than our spirits. Traveler Paimon knows what you're about to say. Yeah, Paimon sure is getting tired from all this flying, but... It doesn't matter. Wherever you go, Paimon's going too. Yep. We'll leave the children of Echoes to you guys. Flower Feather Clan, hang in there. We're coming. If there was ever a time to push ourselves to the limit, that time is now. are about to get there. Lament! Tear! <laughs> Worthless! Tear! <laughs> Worthless! Tear! Save her. How's that, Koichi? Any better now? Koichi! Koichi! Jaska... I used to think Mom and Dad were crazy for adopting you. I was the younger sibling. But I always felt like it was my job to help mom and dad take care of you. And I thought I could set you free from the abyssal energy you struggled with. I guess I was pretty full of myself, huh? Thinking I could fix you when... 
Well, we were always the same. Hush, Koichi. Put those thoughts right out of your mind. We'll be at the stadium in no time, okay? I'll carry you there. The abyssal contamination is gone now. Just rest, and you'll get better. I was always nagging you to slow down. Stop rushing headlong into things. I just didn't want anything to happen to you. Or to anyone else because of you. I worried about you so much. But now... I realize... I never really understood what it's like for you. The fact that you survived an abyssal contamination was... a miracle. But it also left you in a constant state of agitation. <sighs> the fact that we became family was... another miracle. But with me worrying about you all the time, it feels like... I just... agitated you even further. No. Absolutely not. Nothing could be further from the truth, do you hear me? All you ever did was love me. Same goes for mom and dad. I've always known that. And I feel terrible because... I really did want to get along as a family. It might take me some time, but... I'll find a way to make it work. I'm so sorry, Koichi. I never meant to make you feel this way. It's okay, Chaska. No need to apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. No one did. It's nobody's fault that things didn't turn out great. I get it now. So, no nagging from me this time. You keep forging ahead, sis. Never slow down and never hold back. Spread your wings and fly free, like the fiercest kookasaur in the sky. Show the world who the bravest flower feather warrior is. Because that's who you are. And that's the sister I'm proud of. Koichi! Koichi! Koichi? What was that just now? It looked like abyssal energy was flowing out of her, but then a split second later, it disappeared. Koichi did say that Cheska needs to let off steam now and then. Or she'll end up losing herself. But this time she wrestled back control. If only we were faster! Dealing with abyssal contamination is a piece of cake for you! We could have gotten to her earlier than you could have treated her before... Before it was too... Wait... What's happening to Cheska? How unfair life can be. She's had the odds stacked against her from the very beginning, and each step forward has been an agonizing one. 
Maybe she would have been better off embracing her pain. But her journey goes on, and one question looms large in her mind. If she could rise above the layers of pain, and ascend over the dark clouds of her mind, what then would she find? Maybe the glorious light of the sun, or maybe a dark, empty void. There is only one way to find out. She needs to spread her wings and soar to new heights. That is the true meaning of life. My life's suffering shall be my epitaph. To remember the pain I endured. And finally, transcend it. <sighs> Let's take Koichi somewhere safer. Please, take care of Koichi for me. I still have more important things to do. Of course. We are grateful for her service. Yes. She served selflessly. I'm sorry, Chaska. It's all right. I'm far from the only one going through this right now. Kuichi wanted to be a hero. And in my heart, she always will be. If we want to honor what she stood for, not to mention her sacrifice... Archon, we need to hurry. Hmm. Time for this war to end. the status? Do we have enough medical supplies left? We're almost out. There are still the emergency supplies, but they're reserved for the doctors and soldiers. We can't touch those. I know, I know. All right, well, give me my share at least. Ah, it's you. Glad to see you're both all right. No idea. Communications have dried up, and there are too many wounded people to attend to. Right now, my focus is on them. But I trust him. I know he'll make the right call even when the going gets tough. He's my son, and I'll always be proud of him. Oh, it's you two. I thought we'd never see each other again. We put up a good fight, and we won, even though it cost us dearly. Are you going to keep fighting? If so, please be careful. Fighting the Abyss is a great honor, but the path to victory lies not in honor and glory, but in surviving until the next morning.
You're okay. Oh, thank goodness. We were worried sick about you guys. So you made it to safety, huh? Was it a smooth journey? Uh, not exactly. We ran into a bunch of abyss monsters and had to fight for our lives. But I gotta hand it to these folks. They really rose to the occasion. They fought every bit as well as trained warriors. <laughs> Guess the old muscle memory is still intact. I feel very lucky to be alive. We have to keep surviving, so we can start to take back what we've lost. You guys better make sure you keep surviving too. The Saurians I came back with were intent on following the other warriors into battle. There was just nothing I could do to stop them. That officially makes me the most useless member of the unit. <sighs> but at least I know enough about Saurian medicine to help treat their injuries. May the Wyub grant you peace. And may songs be sung of your life's journey. We give thanks for the gift of your life and ours. And we look forward to meeting you again one day in a world of wonder and beauty. I'm so grateful Maya Well is here. With her expertise, we were able to treat a lot more people. But I'm worried she's overdoing it. She hasn't stopped this whole time. I need to get someone else to step in so I can persuade her to take a break. I trust him. I know he'll make the right call even when the going gets tough. He's my son, and I'll always be proud of him. Everyone, are you ready? A bitter war lies ahead. Our victory begins in each of your minds. So ignite the spirit of victory for me. May no further lives be lost, and no one else may to suffer the loss of their loved ones. As long as blood still runs through your veins, even the tiniest spark of steel against stone can ignite a flame. Its blaze will become one with the gaze of all Natlan. Even amid everlasting darkness, our bonds remain eternal. Stone engraved in echoing peaks. Converge, disperse, and ashes be reborn. For flames born anew. And the blazing dawn. A hero scaled the volcano to seize the sun. Anointed with flames, she shone with the light of a thousand stars. Now, guide me in my first step. Having foretold his own death, the omniscient man holds a feast in celebration. Let us raise our cups in honor of his heroism, and send him off with this final tribute. For at last, his wish is now fulfilled.
My life's suffering shall be my epitaph. To remember the pain I endured, and finally, transcend it. Heroes of the Ages! Our moment has finally come! We unite as one! Baptized by the Turnfire. Bearing an ancient blessing. Knowing true power. And accepting a fate of devotion. We embrace the transcendent flame. Vernalan! Vernalan! That is an outright scary level of power. So, from now on, all warriors will be able to resurrect themselves using the sacred flame. That's right. No more casualties. It's time to wipe the enemy off the face of the earth. And to reclaim our lost territory. Uh, we'll come with you. Baimon, Traveler, I'm so grateful you got to us when you did. You gave Koichi the chance to say those words to me before the end. If I'd lost control out there in the wild, this counterattack might never have been possible. Probably best not to think about that. More importantly, how are you feeling now? Any better? <laughs> not really. But now is not the time to deal with it. In the spirit of Vuka, I have to rise above it. The conflict and suffering in me are there to test my character. My struggle will make me stronger, and make me the person Kuichi believed I can be. All right, let's go show the Abyss what human beings are made of. They'll be sorry they messed with Natlan after we're through with them.
Sorry, Mulani. I'll adjust my aim. No, no, you're good, Archon. It didn't hurt at all. Plus, it was freaking cool! <sighs> Not great for your eyesight, though. Oh, yeah. Fair point. Ugh, a house coming in way too hot. It's impossible to mute him. Done. Thank you, Malika. has arrived. All right, give him hell. Vengeance for Koichi. Time to double down. Use the Pyro Archon's power and show no mercy. Gina, over here! I'll send you up, it'll be quicker! Okay, everyone's safe. Granny, please go on ahead with the others. I just need some more time, I promise. I won't hold things up. Oh, Roron! Leave the vegetables and aphids behind, you dimwit! It's too dangerous! has got me pretty fired up. I'm ready to butcher a whole army of monsters. Everyone, death is now off the table. So charge! Let's give them everything we've got. Worthless. The children of Echo's territory is secure. All monsters down. All good here at the people of the Springs, too. We crushed it! The Masters of the Night Wind are also safe. Should I go support the Flower Feather Clan? Things are still pretty rough over there. I'm already en route. <sighs> No need. I just dealt with it. Already? But you were just at the stadium! <sighs> yeah, well... You have no idea how long I've been itching to bash some heads in. Oh! Fair enough. Ian-san, what should we do about the Collective of Plenty? Your home's a long ways away from the stadium. Oh, no need to worry. I just heard from Marisa. She says they're safe now. Yeah! They're only game 
plan was to outnumber us, and that ain't gonna work now that we have the Ode of Resurrection on our side! We ain't gonna let them get away with that! Friends, let's gather at the stadium! More abyss tumors have descended, all near the stadium! Let's split up and take them out! Oh, we need someone to guard the main entrance! Alright, this is the final battle! Judgment is upon us. Your sins weigh upon your soul!
everyone. We are gathered here to celebrate a glorious victory. It is a victory forged by each and every one of us, and we should all be proud of what we have accomplished. We emerge victorious from another crisis to declare, our beloved Natlan is saved! Woo! All right! I must caution that this war is not yet over. We have not destroyed our enemy, merely driven them further into the depths of the Night Kingdom. But the Abyss underestimated Natlan's forces, and they have suffered a devastating defeat. It will be a long time before they are able to pose a threat to us again. After making some preparations, I will launch my final counterattack. I shall strike them in their lair and wipe them out for good. Oh, man. <sighs> Wait, Archon, are you saying you're going alone? Yes. The Abyssal energy there is too strong. Contact with it would be instantly lethal to anyone else. I'm sure you're all still fired up, and you must be eager to take the fight home to the enemy. But I must ask you to temper your ambitions. I will return victorious, for all of us. It's kind of a shame that we can't join him with a final showdown. Please, look at the bigger picture. Thanks to every one of you, we have already secured an enormous victory. Tonight, we should celebrate to our heart's content. Uh, I guess if our lives are no longer at risk, things can basically go back to normal, right? That's good enough for me. Beats having monsters everywhere. When the time comes, I will gather everyone here again. Now. Let us also remember those who gave their lives fighting for our nation. Once the last dregs of the Abyss are wiped out, I intend to give them the grand funeral they deserve. An ancient name could never record the many who we lost. But no hero of Natlan should be forgotten. If, if I may, let's, uh, let's have a moment of silence for the Fallen. Lastly, there is one more person I must thank for his extraordinary support in our time of need, and that is the Captain. Speaking in a personal capacity, I should like to offer my sincere congratulations on your victory. Well, everyone, please enjoy the victory feast. I hope it's a chance to relax your minds and rekindle your spirits, so that we may face what lies ahead with renewed vigor. Great job, Kachina. Oh, you're much more confident now. Seems like winning the pilgrimage gave you a real boost. I spoke to your mom and dad. They were singing your praises. They said the world's your oyster now. How are things with the people of the Springs base? There are some casualties, but the overall mood is very positive. I reckon they'll start rebuilding pretty soon. Same situation for the Children of Echoes. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's do it together. Let's hope that their sacrifice marks the beginning of a new age for Natlan. An age of unprecedented peace. <laughs> 